What's doing, guys? We got what we did last game, but uh, I think we... Um, that's right, we took on that boss. Big boss. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zina. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved <clears throat> gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zina. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Everybody wants those golden rings. It's not good. Not good indeed. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me. Even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers, huh? Why would a civilian Drofa have a damn railgun? Or an owl a machine gun? The signs are everywhere. Just like you said, different perspectives. Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. Listen to this recording. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize about that if this? the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase Robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. But it's clear that Molotov was speaking literally. The Politburo knew from the very beginning that Soviet civilian robots had a combat mode. The Atomic Heart Project. Petrov wasn't lying. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. So what are you going to do now? Think. Good idea. So how's everybody been? Doing good, I hope. I am. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm still on holidays, so, you know, can't go wrong with that. Yeah, I'm enjoying chilling out. Sleeping in as much as I can. So, after my holidays... Um, I am planning on throwing myself into work due to needing to save up Charles, why does quite a bit of money. Rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head, not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. Whoa, what if it is implanted in the skull? Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, um, I'll need to not do as much YouTube 
uh, just because I'll be, you know, throwing myself into work. Um, so I might not upload as much. I know that it was pretty, like, tame the amount of the, the amount that I was uploading in one week, but like, yeah, it might become less because of that. Uh, but yeah, like, don't get me wrong, I won't, I won't quit YouTube. I'm just slowing down. Um, because I need to. That's it. That's all. But yeah, I'll, I'll still be doing YouTube. Just thought I'd give you guys a heads up before, um... Yeah, before it actually... Ah! Um, yeah, before I start getting a bit more relaxed with my uploads. <laughs> I've learned that, um, saving in this game is definitely a thing that needs to be done. Oh, it looks like I've already been around here. Oh, this has opened up now. This wasn't open before. Oh, look at all of them. Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder. And could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First yeah. by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that way. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Let's see what happens with this. Ooh. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing good. That's, that's all I hope for. Having a good day. Great day. Having fun. Laughing. All that kind of stuff. Hopefully, at least. Oh, that was a lot of stuff. So, this game has glitched. Like, I can't take down boss monsters and get one of those um here i'll show you i can't get these things because it glitches out i don't know if anybody else is having the same issue but yeah it's quite annoying i can't unlock the rail gun because of it oh no last time i cheesed you Gonna do it again. You see now? Ah! Oh my goodness! I almost died. Where is he? Get cheesed again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so watch this. So, I'm supposed to be able to get those boss, um, things from these guys. You ready? Watch this. Look at that. Look at that. Yep, see? That's why. I <laughs> want the railgun gun so bad. And I can't unlock things past a certain point. 
which is quite annoying. Anything up here? But oh well. I'll just have to deal with it. I'm playing this on Xbox uh, Game Pass as well. I don't know if they don't get certain updates or, or whatnot, but yeah. Oh, there's a few of them now. Hey! Bye! Yeah, get some! Yeah! <laughs> Really? Quite a few cars around. I have driven cars. I'll show you what happens when you run into things. It's ridiculous. Watch. Watch. You ready? Especially robots if you run into robots. Uh, it didn't actually do it, did it? Oh well. I want the things that are on this this road anyway. Yeah, see I just missed something because I was in the car. Mm-mm-mm, all that valuable, valuable loot. Sorry, brother. Come on. Yeah. You're good. Good job. Good boy. Oh, you're a bit tougher. Oh. Come on, get him, get him, get him. No. Get him, get him. <laughs> oh. That's just doing him dirty. Wonder, can you jump off the side? Nah. Ah. Oh. Take all the fun out of it. How could you? Oh my goodness! My guy! Chill out. Hey, jump far, though. <laughs> Never put your head down below someone's knee. Bad idea. Ooh, hello, beautiful. Yes. Oh, hello. Hey, what? Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? I'm not a member of collective. How can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a Another robot. one. The robot identifies you as a human. But you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They'll start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. <laughs> but I can just it's put my thought on, walk past the bot, do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's gotta be more. The two rings together, I bet you make the alpha in some kind of way. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yep, once again. Oh, this game. 
Give me a break, please. Please. I want a break. Are things floating in any of these? Yes, there is. This is a long bridge! <laughs> like, damn! Do I have to go... Do I have to travel this thing every single time? That's an annoying inconvenience. Then again, it's most likely that I'm not even going to be coming back this way anyway. Right, so this is a whole new... Whole new area, and that's where I get the... Yeah, boy! I need that electrokinetic stock. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. There's only the one, though. Hmm. Come on, then. This thing, this melee is overpowered as all hell. <laughs> oh, that's got red in it. Now we got robots again? Yep. Oh, I want to go. I don't want to deal with these guys. It's bad. It's bad. Wow. Where is he? I need to get out of here. Give me some of that. Let's go. Why oh, there's so many of them? Seriously, look at that. Hold this for me, Ninja. Where'd the others go? Yo, that's gone. Oh man, you hurt. Just give me a sec to collect my thoughts, if you don't mind. Eh, give me. Oh, there's another one. I feel very underwhelmed by the electric, um, yeah, by the, this. I'm very underwhelmed by it. They should be stunned for, like, a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, see, I can't upgrade that to the last bit because I don't have the, the stupid, yeah, that.
Oh, sweet. I can get that. Automatic fire mode, huh? Oh, the reload's a lot better. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. It's all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. It does, but it's not cool. <laughs> not cool at all. Okay, so... There should be a... Uh, oh, no, not there. Further down. Gotta get in there. To deal with whatever comes at me. I just need to... Get inside first. Can I close it? A medical checkup. They can't open those, right? Does not look like it. Sweet. Okay. Ooh. Haven't found one of these in a bit. Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Isn't the fact that this place Hello. is a secret <laughs> complex tip you off? You're a little green to be a guard, especially at a hospital. Listen, we're not butchers like those scientists. We're not here to kill people. We just make sure no one runs off. It's fine, really. Is it though? Saharov didn't die, Kamri. Saharov lives. What? Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an assistant professor from AOC. It matters not. Saharov lives. What do you mean, he lives? It was believed Saharov perished a few years ago in an unfortunate accident. But he did not. I studied the documents. And all of the most revolutionary papers show signs of his involvement. His personal touch, if you like. I worked with him personally and knew his attitude well. Caustic comments, radical methods, unmitigated interruptions. He is most definitely alive. But one question remains. If he is alive and still working, why would somebody hide it? Eh, sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Right now, it's hard to tell who's alive and who isn't. Oh. So there's a bottom... There's a, there's a basement here somewhere. Autolysis starts approximately 7 to 10 minutes after death, followed by defecation in 3 to 5 minutes. Rigor mortis sets in 5 to 6 hours, then, let me see, complete decomposition in about five years. Yeah. <laughs> what are you what doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm counting. Counting. Everything has to be thoroughly calculated. Precision matters. Observation in detail is the key to success. I am a scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. Comrade, do you know many people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own bodies? 
<laughs> I understand the grave importance of your mission. Don't let me distract you. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. <laughs> hey, what's that? Oh, there's something out there I can. Ooh. Swap. Focus. Keep an eye on that incision. Okay, okay. Focus. How do I get upstairs? Shit. Pressure on it. Now. The polymer wasn't absorbed by the tissue again, so it created a pathological cavity. There are nodules like this all over his body. What do those heartless animals want from people, huh? You may be right, comrades. But that is not your concern. Do your jobs. Private, bring in the next one. Yes, Comrade Colonel. The polymer needs to be absorbed. And if it's not, save whoever you can. And clean this place up. Damn. Damn. Him too. Shouldn't we at least try to help him? There's nothing we can do for him. He sat down by your bed like he was hypnotized, and then he just stayed that way. We're the ones who need help now. My God. But you're right. Those shots were shit. They were supposed to help, but now I've got five people from the same collective farm on my hands. Trust me. Something's... Something is wrong with me. Call the nurse. Tell her my side. My side is on fire! Hurry! Hurry! Call the nurse already! Dude, this thing's floating here. <laughs> Physics! Oh, why am I going down here? Oh no, I missed it! I missed something! Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, non Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will, of course, be required. But what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, Major. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone. Oof. Authorization. Nora Major doesn't Nijaya, talk to me anymore. T3. Access granted. All right, so we have a lot of these guys. Oh, this music going hard. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this music. <laughs> There's the rest of them. This guitar, man. That was pretty good. I like that. Whoa. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I love this music. <laughs> Hehehehehehe <laughs>